Hello Internet, I am Sarandalot and today I have a tutorial video for you. I'm going to show you how to simulate that sort of 8-bit color look. Now this isn't going to be exactly 8-bit color um, or like 255 or 256 colors because I, there are, are several problems with the way of doing this uh, that do not allow you to be that accurate. Um, I'm just going to show you the simplest way to get that look and that kind of feel. So here I have a quick little scene. Um, this is what it looks like. And uh, it's got some different colors, some red, green, and blue, and yellow, and a monkey head, uh, just to demonstrate some stuff. And it doesn't matter what you are, I'm just doing this in the Blender render for um, afterwards. You'll see why. You can do this in cycles as well. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, just happen to be quicker on my computer right now, so I'm going to hit Control left arrow key, go over to the compositor, uh, hit use nodes and backdrop so that we can actually see. Control shift left click, let's see the viewer. And what I'm going to do then is um, I'm going to add a converter, separate RGBA, and I'm going to add a converter combine RGBA and put it all the way over here. Now, in between that, between the red and the red, what I'm going to do is add a math converter and duplicate it two times so we have three of them. The first one is going to be multiply and I'm going to set it to uh, 5. The second one is going to be round and I'm going to set it to 1. And the third one is going to be divide and I'm going to set that to 4. Now you can set basically what's happening is that this node when we plug in we plug in the, the image value and we get the image out. You Basically you're only seeing it with red white now so you don't get the blue and the green. But you can see what happens is that it takes it takes uh, it takes values, uh, the color values from 0 to 1. Um, you can see down in the left hand corner you have red, green, and blue right, right over here about uh, from 0 values from 0 to 1 and they don't they don't pass to one a little bit sometimes because of the lighting, which is why this is a little bit inaccurate. But it takes it, um, you multiply it by a number, uh, round it up to a number, and then divide it by a number that is one less <laughs> than the original number. So basically, what's happening is that you're taking this entire gradient and you're splitting it up in two sections. Now, now we, what we can do is we can take this and just uh, I'm just gonna minimize that shift to click all of them and duplicate it two times the alpha can just go straight over green goes into the top here blue goes into the top here and green comes out and blue comes out now theoretically I'm going to change the blue value of the multiply to six and I'm going to change the blue value of divide to 5 now, because it's 1 less than 6. And this is the result that we get. So we get a bit of a, a bit of an 8-bit looking, looking thin here. The problem is that sometimes the color values go higher than 1, which is why it's not exactly 250. Theoretically, since this is 5, this is 5, and this is 6, this, you should be getting about 6 colors, 6 colors, and 7 colors each out of each the red, green, and blue channels, which should give you about 252 colors. But again, some of the values here, as you can see, it's the red value is 1.75, so not exactly sure what's happening. So that's the basic idea of how to get the look. You can always decrease and increase the number of colors and the number of segments that you have by just changing the values in those nodes. What you can do now is I'm just going to go over to the render panel, turn off anti-aliasing, which is why I did this in Blender Render, not Cycles, because Cycles does not have doesn't have this functionality because it just it's it's a completely different mechanism. And I'm going to change the uh, resolution down to uh, like ten percent of the original thing and save it and there we go <laughs> and now what we have is kind of an uh, kind of an old style retro looking scene here it's got the standard colors that we sectioned off and it's also more pixelated so you can really do a lot it depends what you want to do with this method but this is the very basic and simple way 
to do it. Uh, not accurate, but you get a nice uh, look and feel. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.